Welcome to a special Super Dave Osborne holiday show. Tonight featuring Leona Boyd, Gene Catrone, Fuji Hakayito. Stay tuned for tonight's holiday stunt. Hello, everybody. This is Mike Walden. Welcome to a special holiday edition of the Super Dave Osborne Show. Normally, this would be a joyous, happy time, especially at this time of the year. But unfortunately, just before we went on the air, we got some rather disturbing news. Not news, really. It's kind of a rumor, to be uh, honest with you. But uh, here he comes right now. I'm sure he wants to tell you more about it. And I see that he is accompanied by his attorney, Bernie Weinfeld. It's a very special evening this evening, and uh, I'd like to welcome everyone to my holiday show. Uh, I can't pretend, even though I'm supposed to be in a festive mood. Uh, I have been so disillusioned and depressed all day, I don't know how to put it into words. Uh, there's a terrible rumor going around the compound that uh, perhaps ABC has traded for me. Uh, they've given up Roseanne and Cash, and I will be going over to ABC, and uh, oh, time is traded. Oh, come on. I can't believe that. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I hope my fans will come with me. Uh, it's very hard for me to put this into words. Bernie and I have been meeting all morning, uh, going over contracts and uh, realizing that we were stupid enough not to put a no-trade clause in because we thought uh, if, we, uh, if we did a lot for the network and had a smash hit show, that they're not going to trade you when you're on top. And we're on top, and they've traded us, and uh, I, I don't know what to say. You know, uh, uh, Bernie said to me, but Super, maybe you can go over there and and be a hit on ABC, too. Yes. And uh, then I found out this morning that I won't be doing my show at ABC. I'll simply be filling in with Roseanne, playing the part of a housewife. Oh, come on. <laughs> not you, not the great Super Dave Osborne. There's nothing else I can say, Michael. Uh, I tell you. We've got a great show tonight. I'm going to go through with it and uh, do the best I can. And well, that's all I, can I say. just can't understand the network treating you this way after what you have done for this network. Your show is a smash hit. And as you know, I, I, I have a family obligation. I have other obligations as well. But for them to treat you this way is dishonorable. It's disgusting. It's despicable. And if you're not going to be a part of the show, I'm not either. I'm going to take a hike. I mean that. I'm terrible. I'm sorry. You don't normally get steamed up this way, but that's just terrible. And, uh, that really is great and makes it for a very uh, nice holiday show. Yes, Good news. Bernie, you were right. Look at this. Oh, yeah. A lie. Absolutely. <laughs> this was all a lie. ABC made up the whole thing for publicity. This network has no... They're not going to trade you ever, and they love you, and they hope you're with them for the rest of your life. <laughs> Stay tuned for a terrific holiday show. Oh, this is great news. That means we're going to be together forever. What do you mean, we? What, do you got a mouse in your pocket? Make your own deal. <laughs> what a beautiful human being. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the star of the Super Dave Osborne Show, the one, the only, Super Dave Osborne!
special, very special night tonight. It's my holiday show, and I can't think of a better way to start it off than when the beautiful Leona Boyd playing her own composition, Carnival. Leona Boyd, ladies and gentlemen. You add, you add such elegance to, uh, it's hard kind of to talk to you here. <laughs> you add such elegance to our show. Uh, I can't tell you, uh, not only are you beautiful, but no one plays like you do. And I've got to go over to my billiard area tonight. Uh, you know the silent night I showed you this afternoon? What? Yeah. Could you do it? Right. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. let, me, let me say one other thing. You have a bad habit. When I talk to you, you keep your fingers on the strip, oh, oh, on the right. fret there, okay? Yeah, okay? What happens is the oil from your fingers get on the string, and then it ruins a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Leona Boyd, let me just, if you help me back, sure, if you just get up. <laughs> Leona Boyd playing Silent Night, and then I'll see you in the billiard area.
That was absolutely magnificent. Uh, Leona, if you can hear me back in the theater, thank you. You were just sensational. Everyone in my billiard area here is covered with goosebumps. Thank you so much for being a big part of my holiday show. And uh, this is a very exciting evening for me. Not only is it a holiday theme, but we get to show you another new area of the compound. Uh, right now, we're going to show you our billiard pool area. And this is a lot of fun because not only do we teach you how to play billiards, how to play pool, uh, how to play snooker, but we also teach you trick shots. And uh, trick shots can give you a personality. Uh, you know, you come into a party and they're playing pool, and they, and they say, hey, uh, can you play pool? And you say, well, not really, but uh, give me a try. Oh, gee, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Maybe I'll just knock them all in. Well, that's a really big house. I mean, the best thing you do is leave the party, because they'll talk about you for days. Anyway, I'd like to bring in a young man right now who works in my billiard pool area. He's a sensational person, Mr. Gene Catron. Hello, Gino. It's great to see you. And uh, he is, has gotten so good. When I first had Gene come here, uh, he was learning how to play, and I worked with you for about two years, is that about correct? Two years, right. Night and day, and he's been so good that we've given him a, a nickname, the Mighty Gene. Bluff. And when you have a nickname and you play pool, it means you're special, like Fats and Minnesota Fats and right. some others. Yeah, you got Dirty Danny Jones. Dirty Danny Jones. Keith Earthquake McCready. <laughs> a variety of names up there. Those are great names. Anyway, what we're going to do tonight is something very special. Because I said, Gino, let's set something up in the billiard area because usually the felt on a pool table is green and that's kind of a holiday color and we could do something with some, maybe some different colored balls and something else that would be a lot of fun. And he said, terrific. Then he went and set up something and I said, wait a minute, it's not difficult enough. And I added a little touch. Yeah, well, the dominoes was a great idea, you know, but uh, I couldn't see how they would push those heavy balls until you designed those little blocks. That was a great idea. Well, you don't have to give me credit. <laughs> anyway, oh, I'd like to say something else, and it's a holiday time, and it's kind of emotional. I don't want to break down, but Gino said if he ever could be a guest on the Super Dave show, he would love to wear a tuxedo, because he looks great in a tuxedo. And I said, all right, and he said, I don't own one Super. And so because of the holiday spirit and everything, we got some money together, and we rented him this one <laughs> for two days. I hope my mother's watching the show. Well, let's see. <laughs> anyway, uh, basically what we're looking at here is how many dominoes? Oh, about 3,000 dominoes. 3,000 dominoes, approximately... 70, 75 balls. 75 balls, 3,000 dominoes, four tables. It's going to be sensational. Uh, let me show you some other things. Um, right here, we've got little bowling pins. And what will happen is... What happens, you know, all the dominoes will fall? All the dominoes should fall over and all the balls should go in except for the black balls. Except for the black balls? The black balls help to do some triggering, different stuff. Oh, and the balls roll from table to table. Right. Is that right? It's going to be interesting. Uh, I'm so excited. I followed your diagrams just the way you gave them to me. Well, <laughs> you've done a great job and uh, everything looks like it's really set up for some excitement. And I understand you have a little surprise for us at the end? Yeah, we have a lead-in for Mike set up for you. Great. I'm going to go over to the stunt. So be prepared for a fabulous holiday stunt. And also, put on your videotape machines. Because once you tape this and you play it back a couple of times, you'll see how easy it is to do. Get four tables, put it in your living room. When the friends come over, do this, and you'll really be ahead. <laughs> OK, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go do my stunt. It's my pleasure to present Gene Catrone, The Mighty Hand. Glove. <laughs>
Happy holidays to everybody. Everybody, this is Mike Walden, and the Super One is on his way over right now to close out the show on a perfectly beautiful holiday touch. Yes, indeed, he will be arriving in his magnificent Super Dave Osborne reindeer sleigh and accompanied by his faithful stunt coordinator, Fuji. I guess I gotta use the word adorable, it's just fun. It's, it's not a stunt, but uh, it's a trick. And uh, as you know, yeah, if you'll come with me. Uh, as you know, we get thousands and thousands of letters every year saying, Super, please, on your holiday special, don't miss your loved ones. Uh, we don't want you in the hospital uh, during the holidays. We want you to be with your loved ones. And of course, I understand that's where I want to be. <laughs> really a nice sentiment. Absolutely, and, and what we're gonna be doing is something that's very, very special to me. Again, I won't be doing a stunt, but I'll be doing a trick that will really excite the kids and parents alike. Uh, Danny, if we could pan up this magnificent Christmas tree. Can you, uh, Spaggy, wave up there. There's Spaggy, one of my elves, and uh, he's gonna guide me up there. As you can see, there's a little red chair. And what I'm going to be doing this evening, Michael, is I'm going to get into this giant jack-in-the-box. Uh, Pop goes, the weasel will be played. Uh, I will be popped out of the jack. Fuji, why don't you explain? Oh. You designed this. An atomic jack in the box? Absolutely, Michael. Uh, I will get in there and I will, the floor is atomically spring loaded. Uh, I will be guided down, uh, the top will be shut, then Pop Goes the Weasel will play at the right time. The top will open and I will explode out of there. And I believe, what do you think I can do? A two tonight? I will attempt a double flip and land on the chair up there. And to top it off, I'm going to sing a song, uh, 12 Days of Christmas, and it will be the title song for my new Christmas album. And there will be the album cover. So it's a very special closing this evening and a real holiday treat. And well, we'll of course, that album will be on sale. How much? Maybe since it's a holiday time, we don't want to talk about it, but it'll be 1995. <laughs> <laughs> the CD will be like any other one. Forget it. <laughs> okay, guys, if we're ready. One second, I want to see what it feels like up here. How does the wind feel? I'm going to go for a two and a half. All right? Okay, guys, if you'll lower me down. Okay, close the top. And make sure it's closed very tight. Try a two and a half. I feel great. All right, let's start the music. I'm losing air here. <laughs> I love this song. All around the cobbler's bench, the monkey chased the weasel. The monkey thought it was all in fun. Oh!
get a ladder in here. He needs help right now. He could be in a whole lot of pain. Oh, my God. Easy. I'm ahead on shoes here. <laughs> Careful. Oh. <laughs> what a shame. And now the super one won't be able to get to the top of the tree. I can put him in the top of the tree. Forget it. You can? Sure. No. No. Uh-oh. Hold on. Let me talk in a minute. Just wait a second. I... <laughs> I need help. Help is on its way, Super, just as soon as you finish your song. Hit it, Jimmy! No, I don't want to do my song. Guys, I could use some assistance here. I'm ahead on the tree. I can't even clear my throat. Oh, all right. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Good night, everybody, and have a great holiday.